culture is taking it. So, what is the problem we are addressing? Last month, my mother got into a brutal car accident. What's worse from the physical damage that she feared, she also had to take on a lot of emotional responsibility from trying to file a claim with the insurance company. By the time the police and insurance investigators had arrived at the scene, it was almost impossible to tell who was truly at fault in the car accident. Therefore, my mother had to invest thousands of her own dollars trying to hire a lawyer and trying to get her testimonial ready for court, which also took hours upon hours. So that brings us to the real problem at hand. Auto insurance fraud is an $18 billion problem, and that's exactly what we strive to find. Every year, this problem increases, and what we're showing is that the two types of fraud that we solve for are frauds where people try to over-exaggerate their claims to make to get them more money, as well as um, as well as um, where there's ambiguous evidence where we don't know who's truly is at fault. So you might be wondering, what is the solution? We present Intact, the, the digital detective. Intact is a crash data analysis solution made specifically for insurance companies. We use data collected from a device called a black box, which is now mandated in, in, in every car after September of this year, and we compare that data with past uh, data points collected from car manufacturers themselves. We analyze um, acceleration, velocity, rating of characteristics of the driver, and use this information to accurately create a report that is able to assign liability to the person responsible for the crash and do much more, um, such as calculate the in premium increase for people. So, who is going to buy our product? Our direct customers are small local all insurance companies as well as large insurance companies um, such as Allstate and State Safeco. We have already talked to Allstate and they are 100% interested in our product. Furthermore, they are willing to partner with us in the future as long as we, uh, when we sell our products into the market. As you can see, our total addressable market is $100 million. Out of this, our beach shed will be small insurance companies located in Massachusetts. So, how are we going to sell this product? Well, as our main customer is insurance companies, we will hire a professionally trained team of salesmen to reach out to various local insurance companies and set up meetings to sell our product. A market analysis has shown that direct acquisition proves to be the most effective way of selling software as it allows for a personalized demonstration of the product as well as a Q&A session afterwards that can align both the customers as well as the seller's missions. Also, to establish credibility, we will reach out to the main journal in the insurance industry, the insurance journal. We, will, we, are, we are in talks with them to have them write an article about our product and hopes of reaching out to the many customers who will eventually use it. Based on our method of selling, we estimate the cost of, to acquire each individual insurance company to be around $62,000.
that are out there. And we have realized that there are many small as well as large ones. We, we do not want to put the small insurance companies at a disadvantage, so we've decided to price our product at a million dollars per percent of market share that they have. This way, small insurance companies with only 9,000 auto users will also be able to afford our product. We came to this pricing by um, first evaluating our total market, which is $20 billion. We then realized that we could only um, save the insurance companies half of that through our product. So, we, so the preceding market value is $10 billion. We wanted to give our insurance companies a hundred times ROI. So we um, capped our starting revenue at $100 million. Now talking about the main revenue channel, the main way we're going to be making revenue off this new software is simply selling our software to various size insurance companies. As years progress, our growth is going to be increasing by further acquiring smaller, uh, increasing percentages of our market share. Now looking specifically towards our graph, you'll see that, the, that our cost doesn't actually increase as year progress after year two because software minimally fluctuates after years two and three of development. So once those initial costs are established, we're going to be a fully profitable company. Furthermore, if you look, our revenue increases at year three. At year three, not only do we break even, but we become a profitable company because of the sizes of insurance companies that we have acquired. So, how does Project Intent grow into something on a bigger scale? Year one and two focus on beta testing within the Massachusetts area, and that means acquiring four or five small insurance companies that are willing to test their software to gain credibility. Moving on to years three and four, once credibility has been established, we will be targeting more mid-sized insurance companies. And lastly, from years five and beyond, we're going to be acquiring the rest of the United States by geographically expanding and partnering with large insurance companies such as Allstate, which we've already mentioned has expressed 100% interest in our company and our software. Who are we? My name is Lin Chen, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer and Co-Founder of Project Intent. I've attended many leadership conferences and camps over the past few years. Furthermore, I am the president of two major clubs of our high school, so I have a broad and extensive knowledge in leadership, project planning, and project execution. I'm Karthik Mikal, and I'm the chief technology officer of Project Intent. I have many skills in the area of robotics and computer science, which allows me to help develop our products. My name is Diana Kudali, the chief financial officer here at Project Intent. And after being the financial officer for two, two previous startup companies in my high school career, I've gained knowledge on not only revenue analysis, but also future projections to help become beneficial to Project Intact. Hi, my name is Ruchi Talati, co-founder and chief marketing officer of Project Intact. As the head marketing director of a large nonprofit, I've, I've had extensive experience in marketing, growth, and scalability of, of various aspects of What we're asking for, we're looking for five hundred thousand dollars to get our um, to get to research and develop our product, as well as to cover our costs for the first two years of the product while we're still in beta testing. We're open to any questions if anyone has any. Thank you for your time.